Well, good morning everybody. I'm Matt Morris, the Sustainable Practices Coordinator here at the University of Canterbury. And I'm Sharon McIver and I work in the University um, Sustainability Office. And we're going to talk about sustainable behaviour change in student flats, specifically through our Eco My Flat competition. So Eco My Flat is an annual competition that was devised by students in 2007. They were uh, summer sustainability scholarship students. We ran it for the first time in 2008 and their task was to look at how to engage students in creatively living sustainably in their own flats um, on a student budget. So we drew, they drew inspiration from various things, the program Wasted, uh, the program Pimp My Ride, interestingly, and, um, and of course New Zealand Sustainable Living Program. This is the first of its kind in New Zealand. Uh, it's been copied by at least two other inst tertiary institutions here and uh, it seems likely to be replicated in Australia as well. Our initial analysis shows that the competition does support positive behaviour change uh, towards sustainable behaviour and it also empowers students to become change agents. So we'll talk to that. Um, the way the flat, the Ecomi flat competition is run is we start off with um, an initial audit, which usually involves me going out to each of the student flats, um, having a good look at them and uh, asking them 65 questions about energy, shopping, water, transport, consumption, community and garden. Um, it's a really good time for the students to realise what we're looking for and find out where they're at on the kind of um, eco-grid as well, and also work out what they can start doing to help them win the competition. Um, during the competition they attend nine workshops um, which are uh, run by practitioners in their field, so people who are experts in um, gardening, food, energy, transport, uh, water, home brewing and preserving, which was very popular last year, um, op shopping, eco cleaning and body care. So we try to take quite a wide approach to how you can become more eco. Um, the flats are all expected to blog and this is a really important aspect of us um, identifying who's, who's doing what and they upload really amazing videos and photos and things. And the blogs are also a really good way of getting the competition right out there to the wider community. Um, and finally, we take the information from the various aspects of the competition and we take it to a judging panel made up of people who are pretty clued up on sustainability. Once they've made their decisions, um, we have a really good fun awards night where we actually hand out the awards and so far usually each flat that's actually completed the competition goes away with something um, and the, the major prizes of course are trips away and things like that so it's pretty good. Okay, some graphs. Just an initial point here that uh, in 2008 and 2009 we ran the competition as a one month competition just for the first term. Um, but when we started to, to do our surveying last year and the anecdotal responses we got from 2008 showed that the students and organisers felt that one month was too short. Um, so we changed it to the first semester, which was three months, and uh, as you can see hopefully from the graph there, um, students felt that that was about right, the three months was about right. So that's, that's an important point. Overall, students felt that the competition was effective. Um, the question we asked of them was, what were your overall impressions or feelings about the competition? And um, we got a, an improved response in 2010 from 2009, where a lot more people said that they felt that it had set them on the path towards living more sustainably. Um, <clears throat> luckily for us, in neither year did anybody say that it hadn't inspired or helped them at all, so that's good. Some of the comments we got, um, especially from the Fru Fru Flat, who won the most improved award last year, um, were that the, on the lifestyle changes were going to be ongoing, and they especially identified around consumption and particularly gardening. Um, and also during that time, they managed to get their landlord to install a heat pump, and they've been monitoring their power consumption through Power Shop and um, replaced all their cleaning products and body care products with the more organic variety. So that's one example of the kind of lifestyle changes that some of the students make. We just simply asked them, has it had an actual impact on their lifestyle? And both, both years that we surveyed, they said, 
Yes, but again, there was a and that improvement um, this year where it's well over 90%, over 90% saying yes. These are some of the comments from their blogs. I can see if you've been reading them. Um, the Power Showers one was a brilliant concept of one song per shower and um, the non Enya or rock ballads. Um, with me, it would be drum and bass tracks. They can go on forever. <laughs> um, also, last year, we had a lovely couple who were also um, hapu at the time, so they were bringing a baby into the, the mix as well, and they said their garden was looking mighty fine. Um, heated up an old cruiser bicycle, if you remember those from the 80s. Um, and they changed all their household products and um, really got ready to, to bring their baby into quite an amazing sort of futuristic flat, which we thought was really great. And very interestingly for us, um, the students felt that it had had an effect on their friends, family and whānau, um, more so this year than last year. It's 50-50 this year. Um, but, but still an improvement from that shorter time frame. And we think that it's because when the students have a more opportunity to learn more things, but also to be more supported by the people around them in the competition, um, that, that you know, the changes that they're making have the opportunity to ripple out further. And we also asked them, had they had more discussion with the people around them, just general discussion, yes. Um, they have, so that's very positive for us. Uh, I think this is the last one. This is a crucial indicator for us, just on that point. We asked, would they be prepared to present their eco-flatting learnings in a workshop situation, in a formal workshop situation? Last year, only about 20% said yes, they would. Uh, but this year, over 50% said that would, they would actually stand up and share their ideas and experiences with other people. This is a very important res result for us. And so far we've had um, some examples of this. Uh, we had two of our winning flatmates from the Toafi flat who won the Supreme Flat Award this year and most uh, inventive. And um, we've had uh, also somebody who has been president of the Brewing Club and he started to grow hops in the community gardens. We're very excited about that. Now we're just about out of time but we've got three videos to show you um, about Eco My Flat. Um, we do have some uh, brochures here if you want to come and see us later about eco-flatting. The first video is from Toafi, who were the winners of the Supreme Award. Uh, the second from Fru Fru, the winners of the Most Improved, and finally Country Castle. These videos were made by the flats themselves using a participatory video technique that we used as part of our monitoring and evaluation. Um, there will be a short delay between clips too. So, Ready to go? Okay. <laughs>